if you are using Excel for managing your test cases or if you are using any test management system which can export test cases to an Excel or CSV file, you can easily import your cases into AIO test from your Excel or CSV. Let's see how to do that. Let's look at a sample Excel file that we are going to use to import some cases. This is our sample file where cases are listed in a tabular format. As long as the first row of the file contains the header with case attribute names and the following rows contains the cases with corresponding case attribute values in the columns, the cases can be imported in AIO tests. We don't need the Excel to have the same case attribute names or values as defined in AIO tests system. So let's go to the app and import cases from this Excel. On the cases listing grid, Click on the Import Cases button. You should land on the Import Cases page and the File tab should be selected by default. You should see options to import cases from different types of files on this tab. To import cases from an Excel or a CSV file, under the Classic and BDD heading, let's click on Browse to Attach File. Let's select our file. On selecting the file, we land on a page where we can map the fields or the case attributes that we saw in the header of the file with the case attribute names that exist in AIO tests. Here, on the left, we'll see the names as they exist on the Excel, and on the right, in the drop downs, we have the AIO tests attributes. The system does its best to automatically do the mapping for you, but you can review and make corrections as required. Any field on the Excel that uniquely identifies a case can be mapped to the existing case ID attribute, which is not really a case attribute in the AIO tests, but a special identifier that is used for this import. In this case, on the Excel, we had the ID field, so we are going to use that to map to existing case ID. If we don't have an ID, we can just map the serial number also, which signifies the serial number for the case on the Excel. Next, we have the name. So the name should map to our title, but as we see, the title is already mapped to objective. So let's remove this mapping and then map title to name. We can map objective to description. Test on the Excel is basically a step in AIO test, so let's map that to steps. Test data was automatically correctly mapped. Result was also automatically correctly mapped. Directory on our Excel is folder in the system, so let's do that mapping. The story is also correctly mapped to the requirements. Priority was also correctly mapped. Test status was also correctly mapped, and we don't have a mapping creator in fact we do have one which is owner but owner is automatically set to the person who is actually doing the import so we don't need to map that after doing the mapping click on save the data mapping page should open where we get the option of mapping the case attribute values from our excel with the allowed values in aio tests for fields like priority status and type etc which have predetermined list of allowed values in the system. Let's do our data mapping over here. Let's leave the folder as not assigned. So all these cases which will be imported will be created in the not assigned folder. Let's map the priority P1 in the Excel with the high priority in AIO test system. Let's map P0 with critical. Let's map P2 with medium. And let's, for now, leave P3 unmapped for demonstration purposes. Let's see what happens. In statuses, let's map approved with published. Let's map in progress with draft. And again, for demonstration purposes, leave the submitted for approval status unmapped. 
Once we have done our mapping, let's click on import button. We land on the jobs tab where we can check the status of the submitted batch in XLS CSV tab within the jobs tab. As we can see, the status of our submitted job is queued right now. The job should start executing within a couple of minutes and should complete within a few minutes depending on the number of cases in the Excel. We can continue using the app and can come back to the page using the same import cases button that we used to start this import process. We can use this refresh jobs icon to refresh the status of the job. As we can see that the status has changed from queued to completed. On clicking the details icon, we can check the results of the import. The import status for all input cases on the Excel file should be listed over here. We can see that TC23 was created in AIO test corresponding to test case 01 in the Excel file. We can also see that three of our cases were imported successfully, whereas we got errors in two of them. The error reason is listed for cases which completed with the status of success with errors. For test case 04, we did not intentionally map submitted for approval value to any corresponding value for the field status. So it was ignored while creating the case TC25. Similarly, for test case 12, we did not map value P3 to any corresponding value for the field priority. So it was also ignored while creating the case TC26. Because we have error scenarios in this import batch, we have this option to download cases with errors in an errors file. After downloading, we can make changes as required on that file and then re-import the file using this re-import errors file option to update the created cases. Let's go to the listing grid and check the cases that were imported. So here we can see our cases TC23 to TC27 were created using this import process. Note that every time we import an Excel using this import cases from Excel or CSV file feature, new cases will be created in AIO tests even if we are importing the exact same Excel. We cannot update the previously created cases using this feature in AIO tests.